Now to a News 11 exclusive. St. Louis is about to get an entire new neighborhood. It's going to be like on any other ever. A tiny home village. Those tiny homes will be part of a critical mission to help homeless veterans here. The plan just took a big step forward in the Board of Aldermen today. Alderman Vaccaro. Aye. Alderman Howard. Aye. In a 10 to nothing vote, the Ways and Means Committee, meeting Aye. virtually, approved the $250 purchase Aye. of a vacant lot near Grand and Aldine in North St. Louis. Alderman Jesse Todd sponsored the bill. So it's a very good project, and, it's, and our veterans deserve this. It's between Grand. The Next mayor speakers. agrees. A nonprofit group called VCP, the Veterans Community Project, opened a tiny home village for veterans in Kansas City in early 2018. <laughs> Former Missouri Secretary of State, U.S. Senate candidate, and Afghanistan veteran Jason Kander is now VCP president. He told the committee the Kansas City Village was wildly successful, giving vets not just a place to stay, but a place on the team, a team of people who will never forget their sacrifices. They, they're not letting me down, I'm not going to let them down. We hire case managers. These case managers work with the individuals every single day, get them back on their feet, get them stable, and then find them a permanent housing solution. He says the average stay in the Kansas City Village has been less than nine months. The St. Louis site will have 50 tiny homes, plus a walk-in clinic and community center. It costs about $15,000 to house one veteran, all covered by private donations and corporate support. It's impossible for anyone to get their life back together from a sidewalk. You really need to be able to have a place to lay your head every night uh, to feel safe and to be supported. The city is expected to complete property acquisition and hold a groundbreaking by the end of the month with the first veterans moving in in February.